In this video, I'll show you how to resize a photo or image in Windows. Make sure you watch this full video so you don't understand the full guide. But any further ado, let's go and jump straight into this. Here we are on my iPhone and now let's go and resize a photo and I'll be showing you two different methods you can go and use. So firstly, I want to go and show you the image which I want to go and resize. So I'm gonna go and open up my photos and the photo I want to go and resize is this one here. If you go and tap on the I button at the bottom of your photos once you've got one selected, as you can see here, it's going to go and tell you uh, the current size. So at the minute, it's 2,316 pixels by 3,088. So go and tap off the I just like so, and let's go and change that. This first method is actually taking a screenshot. So all you need to do is press the power button and the volume increase button at the same time, or if you're using one of the old phones with the home button, press on the home button and power button at the same time. Then go and tap on the screenshot you've just taken like so. And what we can now do is go and crop it. So we can go and crop it like so to get rid of these black bars. And if you want to make it more of a square, you could also do that as well. So I'm going to go and do it just like that. Then once you're happy with it, all you need to do is go and press done in the top left like so. And then you want to go and press save to photos like so. Now we've now gone and saved that. So let's go and close off this image like so. And then here is the screenshot, the most recent photo. And then once again, go and tap on the information button in the bottom. And you can now go and see the new size, which is 828 pixels by 766, which is a lot lower than the other. And of course you can go and make this smaller and adjust it more as well. However, if you want to go and have a more um, specific way of resizing a photo, then what you want to do is close off your photos app and go and open your web browser. I'm just going to use Safari, but you can use any browser you would like. Then what you want to do is just go and search for an image resizer and I'll show you a good one and how to go and use it. So just type image resizer just like so and tap on go. Then the one, one website I use is called imageresizer.com. So go and tap on this one at the top and wait for it to load. Then what you need to do is go and select an image. So tap there and we can go and open up our photo library. Then you can go and choose your image and go and tap on add just like so and it's now going to upload it. Then as you can see in the bottom left, you've got this option to go and tap on resize uh, and you can now go and choose what you want it to go and resize to. So for example, at the minute, the aspect ratio is locked, so it's going to keep it in the same format. But if you want to go and make it like a perfect square, you can go and untap that if you'd like. Uh, I'm going to keep it tapped for now personally though. And I'm just going to go and change this to a thousand. And as you can see, it's going to keep it in the aspect ratio. So then it automatically adjusts the height. As I said, you can go and unlock the aspect ratio as well. And there's some settings you can do. Then all you need to do is go and tap on resize like so and it's now circling and it's going to process it and then you can go and tap on download image like so and we can now go and download it or view it i'll just press view actually and here's the image it's now going to resize it and you can go and hold your finger on it like so and then you can go and save it to your photos and then here's the photo we just went and resized so go and tap on it then tap on information and as you can see it's a thousand by one thousand and three hundred and thirty three and that is what we resize it to on the web browser so there are two different methods if you guys found this useful please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.